Hello and welcome to my new and improved guide to installing Buffout 4 and fixing some common ways that Fallout London can have problems, basically. Uh, I've been sitting here for the last two days uh, uh, bug fixing and troubleshooting people's uh, Fallout 4 and I've got a quite a good grasp on how to make it stable. This mod takes into consideration that you have already downgraded the game and you have Fallout London installed. Those are the basic steps. I have another video on my channel how I did it manually using a mod launcher. However, this takes into account that everything has worked perfectly and your Fallout London loads. However, it just runs a bit bad and maybe crashes often. Or you get into Fallout London. That's you're already at that point. The big important part for Fallout London to make it run goody is a mod known as Buff Out 4. It's like buff out before the engine. It helps the engine to run gooder, to do gooder, to be the best, the very best. And uh, well, to install Buff Out 4, it's quite simple. In this video, I'm gonna show how to do it manually for all of you without mod launchers. And the first thing you want to do with Buffout 4 is go into the files on this website. I'll link this website in the description. You go to files and you manually download it. And once you have manually downloaded it, you should just have it in your downloads folder. And there's Buffout 4. You want to open this zip file and go into where you have your Fallout 4 root folder. This is your either your this PC Acer program file Steam Steam apps common Fallout 4 or where GOG wherever GOG has installed your Fallout. This is where you have your Fallout 4.exe. Not where Fallout London has its files, but where your Fallout 4 exe. You wanna go into the data folder like this and see how maybe you won't have a F4SE but you should have one. And from there in the data folder, you can simply take this folder and pull it in. For me, it asks if I want to replace these eight items, but for you, it will just go in. It asks if I want to replace because I've already added these. So you're not replacing the face folder or anything in it. You're just adding on to. So for me, it says replace, but that just means that I've already have it installed. I'm gonna replace so I can show you some changes you need to make. In the face folder, there should be a plugins folder. In your plugins folder, there should be a buff out for folder. In here, we have a config file. You can open this config with just your normal notepad app on Windows. The important thing you need to change here is a part where it says memory manager equals true. You should change this to false since Fallout London comes with their own memory manager plugin. And uh, they don't work well, they don't like each other very much. So I recommend just going through config, doing that. The next thing is Baka Scrap Heap. That's Fallout London's memory manager. You should go in there and change Scrap Heap multiplier. It starts as two, however, you should increase it to four because that just uh, makes it work over time and it should work on most computers. It's just experimental, however. I haven't run into any problems with it. And now you have Buff Out 4 installed, but not completely yet, because Buff Out 4 has something called dependencies. It has things it needs to work, their requirements. Next, they need address library for F4SC plugins. This should come with uh, Fallout London automatically, so you don't need that. However, Fallout 4 script extender also comes with Fallout London, so you don't need that. But the thing you need is XLC plugin preloader. This allows your plugins you install to initialize before the game and it just makes them work better. So you get this, you download it manually again. However, you install this a bit different. You go back to your Fallout 4 folder, you go to your downloads, take these, and you're getting your two small files. You just drag them into the Fallout folder where your Fallout.exe is. 
replace these two files. And that's it, that's Buffout installed. That's the first step on our journey to make Fallout for London work gooder. That should help you with most of your crashes, I hope. And uh, another thing that I recommend is something called a high FPS physics fix. You see, Fallout London, it uh, is Fallout 4. And Fallout 4's London's, <laughs> Fallout 4's loading screens are based on your FPS. So I do recommend getting this. This allows your FPS to be way higher during loading screens. Uh, and you can also unlock your normal FPS. However, I recommend you keep it at 60. And that makes your loading go much faster. And because otherwise, when the FPS is too high without this mod, you'll start seeing weird stuff because Fallout's engine just can't handle it. You'll have lower jumps, faster running speeds, and enemies will be really fast. So just get the file. There are two versions, one for the latest version of Fallout and one for the downgraded version. Since Fallout London is on a downgraded one, you want to manually download this one. And it says even Fallout 4 London there. When you have that file, you just open it up, and there you see it's a data folder, then you know what to do with that. You go into the Fallout 4 folder, data, data phase, you can just pull it in, and it will ask you if you want to replace them. It won't ask you to replace them if you haven't installed it before. It will just be added on. Yeah, you replace them. And now you have that, that's key now. You don't really have to change any settings. However, if you want to change settings, Close it down. Data, phase, plugins. I think there should be like a. Yeah, an ini file here. The ini files, you just get to change a few things. I, I recommend having vsync on. Yeah, there's just a bunch of fun settings. Yeah, and there's a slow screen FPS, how much it allows with the mod. And 350 works way fine for me. So that should be enough for you. And uh, then, then you have the high FPS fix. That's all Kino. However, there's one more kind of common error that I've noticed people have. I have a crash log here, say from fine person, and that is unhandled exception access file that blah 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 fallout something. This is usually because you have the CC creation club thing still loaded in your game. And you can either remove all of the creation club stuff. Um, or you can get this next mod called Backported Archive 2 support because you see the next, latest update of Fallout added a new way for files to be loaded and the old version just doesn't know what to do. So you get this, I haven't downloaded it yet so I'm gonna show you a download. Just open it up and install it right as the other ones in the data folder. Your Fallout 4, you just pull it in like this and uh, it shouldn't say replace, as I said, because you don't already have it. Bada bing, bada boom. Now the game should load up. And just one last fix for all of you cool people out there. I recommend going onto your Fallout 4 launcher. And going into options. First of all, make it windowed and borderless. Fallout 4 just plays better windowed borderless than full screen. And other way, otherwise, go to advanced. And make sure weapon debris is off. When weapon debris is on, it crosses quite a frequent crash. Just make sure that's off. And that's it. Now, hopefully, you should get the uh, buff out for installed correctly. And it should just work. Well, have a nice one. Mind the gap. If you have issues, I'll probably in the Fallout London Discord and uh, cry. Trying to figure out why it doesn't work when it should work, and you know how it is. Well, this is how it worked for me, and it's helped them work for a lot of people. And now this video should be correct, and I haven't misspoken. Oodaloo. Oodaloo. Bye.